You wanna know how to create this bit bap effect? Follow up to learn the tricks. So let's begin. Um, I started uh, the project using this photo that I created in Midjourney AI and I'm going to select my uh, subject like so. And it will automatically select my subject. I uh, use the object selection tool here. Then uh, I need to create a duplicate a layer like so. And with this selection being selected, I would just simply hit mask. And this is the main image for me. Just, okay. And after that, what I need to do is to just create any new document uh, with a size of 2400 to 3000 and also with the resolution of uh, 300, make sure the resolution is set high. And I would also choose the background to be black. And I would go back here. Uh, select my main image, command C, and here I would just click command V to paste it, and I would just resize it. I'm going to have a shadow around her, so that's why I'm not making her so big. So something like that would be nice. And here I would just create a uh, First of all, I would just convert it to the smart object, then make a duplicate of it. And on the main image, so this is the main image actually, and I'm going to name this shadow. So on the shadow layer, I will just uh, decrease the fill to zero and double click on it and give it a shadow. And in the layer style, I would just set the distance and spread to zero and bring the size up to 250. That is good. So if I just turn this off, you can see we only have this shadow here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is that I want uh, the bitmap effect to be a little bit different between the shadows and the main um, image here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create another document with the same size. And here uh, I'm going to just, let me just rename this one. Just rename it to bitmap. Okay. And what you need to do here is that you need to just uh, right click on your shadow layer and click on duplicate layer and for the destination, uh, put the document on bitmap or whatever the name you named your document and you just click OK. And when you go to the bitmap document, you can see you have a duplicated version of your layer and for the bitmap effect itself uh you can simply just merge all the layers but you don't have to you just have to select the layer you're going to give it a bitmap effect and you will just go to the image mode and first of all you need to click on grayscale and it will ask you to flatten the image you will say yes and just discard this and after that you need to go to the image mode and bitmap and here on the bitmap window uh, you can enter different numbers but when you enter a higher number you will, you will have uh, much more details so imagine I just enter 5 and as you can see I'm having like this much of a detail but if I just go back and do the, the bitmap again and if I for example enter 35 as you can see I'm having more details so this is for the for the shadow uh, for the background that I want and that is nice and I will just uh, keep it there and I will go back to the 
the other document that I had, I would just make this uh, main image visible and make the shadow invisible. I would click on the main image and do the same process here. Go to that mode, grayscale, flatten, again, image mode and bitmap. Here I will just enter 60 and I'm having a good amount of details, but I'll just undo that and uh, make uh, an adjustment here with the levels. I will just bring up the contrast so that I can have more distinguished effect. Again, I will go to the mode and bitmap. 60 for the output here and always make sure to put the method on uh, diffusion deter uh, you can use half tone screen also i will explain later the differences but most of the time i use diffusion deter and just click ok and as you can see when we changed the levels now we are having more distinguished uh, effect and it is working better so now I would just have to turn both of these uh, effects, turn them back to the RGB mode. So then again, on the main document, I will go to the image mode grayscale first with the size ratio of one. And again, go to the image mode and turn it back to the RGB color. But because we turned this image into a bitmap it changed our image size so we need to make it uh, bigger and turn it back to the original size so that's why I will go to the image image size here and as you can see the image is so small so you can change the width and height but when you change the resolution afterward, it will all also change the widths and heights again. So the best thing to do is that you will just have to change the resolution first. And as you can see, it is turning our document size to the, to the size that it was first. Also on the resample dropdown menu, it is mostly set on uh, automatic as a default. And as you can see, you will lose some details and your image gets all blurry so the best option here is to just choose nearest neighbor hard edges so as you can see it is just making our image much more sharper with the sharp edges and here is our image i would do the same with the shadows And now I would just make a duplicate of this layer, command C, I will go back here, make a duplicate of this one and command V and I will just name this one shadow, this one main image again, sorry for the spelling. And I would bring down the shadow, but as you can see, we cannot see the shadow. So the best thing you can do is that you can just simply click on the main image Go to the magic wand tool here with the contiguous off click on the dark areas and it will select all the dark areas on your image and simply hit on delete or backspace and now you have it and then i would simply just click on these two using shift and hit command e to merge this two layers the background the shadow and the main image and i will double click on it and give it a color overlay with a blend mode on multiply and i will just select a nice color maybe like this to give it some vintage effect also uh, let me just create a new document here I'm just gonna say bitmap uh, text so you can give your typography the same bitmap effect but you need to just change the visual of your text to be able to give that bitmap effect 
because when it is white uh, it's not gonna work properly so the best thing is to just give it a gradient overlay and with the color of white to black and I will just works so this is too dark so maybe i will just bring down the opacity of my black like so okay i will click on a stroke give it a stroke of size two in the position of outside with the color of white and i would give it another stroke here under the other one with the color of black and with bigger size so if i just change this color to gray you can see that i'm having a color of black here under there and for this one also I'll just make it a little bit bigger three is nice and I would just simply drop a shadow and I would just make it a little bit smaller like 150 and click OK and I would just uh, repeat the same process yeah this is actually cool and I would Go back to grayscale again and RGB mode and I will make it bigger like so sorry I'll just make a duplicate of it command C and here I will just command V and I will just choose magic wand tool and hit delete it look like that and give it a nice bluish color i believe and that's for today guys hope you like the video make sure to like and subscribe and peace